What is up, YouTube family? Hope you are doing amazing out there, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. First off, I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you that tune in and hang out. Uh, we just reached 20,000 subscribers, and that's so huge. And we started this journey. There's no way that was even imaginable. So words can't express how grateful we are, so thank you. All right, guys, today we are checking out Corn Blind in No Way in 1999 at Woodstock. It's the first time we've had corn on the channel, and they're definitely off the chain, so I'm excited. Guys, if you want to support us, there's a couple ways you can do that. First, become a channel member right here on YouTube. If that doesn't work for you, head on over to Patreon, become a member there, or slide on over to Buy Me a Coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these gets you exclusive perks and priority video requests. All right, y'all, like I said, I am excited about this one. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, YouTube family, like I said, we are checking out Corn Blind in No Way from Woodstock 99. It says they're on the East stage. Y'all got to shoot down the comments and let me know how many of y'all have seen that uh, Woodstock 99 documentary. It was wild out there. I think it's on Netflix, but... uh. If you haven't seen it, you got to check it out. It does not look like a good time. All right, let's check out Corn, see about what they're about ready to do. Let's get it. Look at all those people, man. You could not catch me out there with all those people. I love this intro though. I use the bell of that rad. That's crazy out there. Just look at that shot right there. I mean, that. Y'all let me know if y'all have ever been in a concert or a festival, or whatever, with that many people. I'm curious. I feel like I'd be claustrophobic out there. They're gonna get it. Corn was huge in the late nineties, early two thousands. Jonathan Davis is a man on a mission. Look at that wave of people. We got to go back a little bit. I want to see that again, man. That drop is insane, and the people are just bouncing. I mean, y'all got to let me know if y'all been ever been at a concert like that, like that. I couldn't handle it. I'd be out there claustrophobic. This is wow. I always love that break. Yeah. 
thing about corn is, man, love them or hate them, they have such a unique style. The way Jonathan Davis sings, and then there's a lot of like uh, uniqueness in the bass. I think the bass player's name's Fieldy. Maybe y'all let me know in the comments. That might not be right, but uh, yeah, there's there's a unique tone to the bass and the drums, the way they mix it. Uh, very unique style, man. Y'all, corn fans, sound off in the comments. Hey, Groove. Can't believe those people. He's out here in a full leather fit, out here in a kilt, man, just wilding out. Unbelievable. They are going for it. Alright, man. Y'all got Y'all gotta help me out here, man. I know he does this. I don't even know what this is. It's not scatting, but I don't even know what he's talking about. I've never heard nobody else do it. Y'all gotta shoot in the comments. Y'all corn fans and let me know what this style of vocal performance is. I have no, is it another language or what we got going on here, man? He's just out here popping off, man. And another thing, y'all musicians, I've only played to probably 2,000 people at once. I cannot imagine, y'all, if, if you're a musician and you played on stage, y'all comment about how many people you've played to on your biggest show. I'm just curious, man. I can't imagine what it feels like with the energy of the crowd with that many people. About to knock you off the stage. That's a wild They're in the pocket. That right there is not easy uh, from a musical standpoint, the way they're switching tempos. And I guarantee they're not playing to a click. Uh, to come in on that one especially, and then be locked in for that new tempo is not easy. Very, very complex right there. And they're pocketing it, man. They're definitely in the groove, definitely feeling it. So whether you like corn or don't, man, you got to respect the musicianship. And I know uh, Ray Luzier is their drummer now, and that dude is unreal, man. He's such a beast. <laughs> Hard to catch that groove. Everybody, 
Everybody get your fucking hands up in the air. Come on. Are you wilding out? This is wild, man. It's a big old drum kit. I love when bands hit uh, breakdowns, just drum and bass, man. I think it's so cool. And like I said, they have such a unique style. Uh, everything about them, I mean, like I said, it's it's very, very different. From their tone to the way they play with the two guitarists. Uh, yeah, very, very different, man. So love them or hate them, you got to respect it. That bass so low. He's going through it up there. No clue what he's saying. See, that's what I'm talking about. Even right there, switching tempos, man, it's not easy. You can see, you can hear a little bit of hesitation. I ain't knocking it. I'm just saying when they're sw switching to a much uh, uh, slower tempo from that faster tempo or vice versa, it's just not easy to find that pocket. Takes a second. Got those knee high socks, he done. He's wildin' out. There goes the mic stand. He's wild. I like that drop on the two. They're in the pocket. Sounds like they're off there to my ear. And like I said, I ain't knocking it. I'm just pointing it out because those tempo changes are very, very hard to do for everyone to be locked without a click. He's wow. He looks like a man that's been through it. Come on!
My goodness. I, I gotta go take some ibuprofen or something after that, man. That was wild. Hey, the thing about corn, man, they're gonna put on a crazy show. They're gonna bring, you're gonna get your money's worth because they're gonna put their heart and soul into it. Y'all gotta let me know uh, who all's been to a corn show in the comments, man. I bet it is wild out there. Uh, yeah, with their new lineup, like I said, Ray Luzier on the drums is a beast. I think he played with Ozzy back in the day some, or Black Sabbath. I'm not exactly sure, but if y'all know, y'all let me know in the comments. So, hey, that was a fun one. A lot of cool musical changes in there. Um, like I said, a lot of tempo changes that were very challenging, uh, but they stuck with it, man. And when they was pocketing it, it might have took them a second to find it, but once they started pocketing it, man, they was just grooving. Such a talented band. Very, very unique. Like I said, over the years, they putting out so many hits. Uh, just unreal. So I always enjoy checking them out. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, thank y'all for joining me. I know that was a longer one, man. Corn out here, bringing the fire. Woodstock 99. Shh. If you happen to be a Woodstock 99, y'all gotta let me know about it. I gotta hear about it. Like I said, I saw that documentary and it, it seemed like it was wild out there. No water, things catching on fire. Unreal. Y'all gotta let me know what else we should check out from Corn in the comments below. All right, guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it. Thanks so much for kicking in with us and hanging out. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.